Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on our Lego Fortnite series. You guys may remember this, this is a, the top of the arch here. I tried doing a little bit of, you know, a nice pathway, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> so we may have to tear this all down. We can take a look at it from the side and just see if it looks all right. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. I'm almost convinced that the, okay, I'm almost convinced the natural path is actually better. But you guys let me know in the comments, should we continue to pursue something like this or not? I also tried initially using the uh, single little fence post to kind of just make like a dotted trail and that looked horrible. So we tried using these and uh, it's, you know, it's, mm, but. I have done just a little bit of cleanup work to some of our builds. I did record it, but I was kind of in a situation. We had the plumbers over. It was a whole thing. Um, but so I wasn't really talking, but I did record a little bit. Um, so I'll show you that in just a moment. And after that, our main focus for today is actually going to be interior decorating. My goal here is to just kind of walk you guys through my process of interior decorating and hopefully that can help you guys and inspire you to decorate your own builds. And while you guys are watching me do a little bit of building here, it's time for the comment of the day. The comment of the day is from Brick Jitsu, interesting name, and I like your profile picture, who says, small tip, if you get a blue sword, you can mine the wood in the grassland biome much faster and it doesn't take any durability. And with an epic sword, you can also do that with a cactus in the desert. Thank you so much for your comment. I did actually know that you could mine stuff with the blue sword. Um, I think I just didn't have the materials to make another blue sword at the time and just made a green sword because I was over it. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you. I will definitely try that because it is a lot faster and a lot easier. And I also just want to say at the time of recording this, we're at 832 subscribers. And if you guys don't know, I've been doing YouTube pretty consistently for the past two years. My main focus has been YouTube and it's been a slow growth. And ever since I've started making this Lego Fortnite content, you guys have been absolutely crazy with the support. So I just wanna throw it out there. If you guys are not subscribed and you're watching this video and you wanna watch more, please consider hitting that subscribe button because my goal for the entire year is to hit a thousand subscribers. Considering that, you know, at the start of the year, I was at like 620 subscribers. We are now halfway to that goal from our starting point. So yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. And that would literally be goals for me. So um, now that we're done watching all these builds, let's look around, talk about it and get into some interior decorating. So, oh, I almost didn't pull my parachute. <laughs> so yeah, for this one, I decided to remove the little entrance in the back and just cover it up with one of these things here. It looks perfect, looks good. Now it looks like the back of the house and the front here, which was actually the back, looks like the front. The only thing with this is that there's a little gap here. And guys, before you come at me, I spent probably like 15 minutes just messing around and I could not make it work and have the front covered. So it was either have a weird hole in the front and make it work so that this is covered or have this little gap. I even tried busting out the wall, nothing was working. So I just thought, you know what, we'll have a little gap. You can't tell from the front and no one's probably, I mean, I'm the only one on this world. So deal with it. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we've got this little front here, and this is where the door was previously. I just put a nice little window there. We'll have to decorate this front area to make it actually look good. And uh, this is where the other door was. It's kind of nice to not have it here, but we definitely need to do some interior decorating. And what I've decided to do is I'm gonna make this house for Flint and Petra since they are, I've decided they're married now. And <laughs> this little house over here, the bottom floor is going to be for Rex. I don't wanna put five villagers in each village because if we decide to make multiple villages, I want to have room for other villagers. So this is going to be Rex's house, just this bottom floor, and then the top floor is gonna have a few of our workstations. Oh, 
I almost forgot to mention, on this here, one, we really need to change these out with the gray ones, because it doesn't look good. I tried justifying it the last episode, and honestly, mm, it sucks. We need the gray foundations. But yeah, I put these steps here, which it was not easy covering this up. I had to like go all the way out here so I could see the bottom of the steps by like the smallest fraction and get some pillars up under each of these steps. But we got it. It looks good. Slight weird gap here, but I don't care. Um, and actually, I just realized we need to make a little interior here. Just some steps and stuff. So we will also do that today. That wasn't originally my plan. Oh, okay. Uh, but we're going to do it anyways because it needs to be done. Wow. Look at that AI. I find that if you just talk to them when they're doing something weird, they will get over it. Ooh, great hall table, see? Great, great hall table. What is that? Oh, we got... Did we get two or just this? That's a nice little table. So before I even start decorating, I want to look at some stuff here. So if we're looking at a lot of these tables, you need marble, not root, um, wood. We have some that need planks. So those are some materials that I'm going to want to have. Let's look at the chairs. Some of these will need fabric, so we may want to get started on some fabric. Vines, we're going to need a ton of vines. Obviously, we'll need some granite. And it would be good to get some bright core so we can use lighting. Okay, it looks like a couple decorations need wooden rods, but we do have a wood thingy here, so I'm not too worried about that. Some of these decorations need amber, obsidian, and copper. And yeah, I think that about covers it. So I like to kind of get a feel for what I might need before I start building because I cannot tell you guys, I hate nothing more than having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because, oh, now I need copper and now I need uh, not root. Mm -mm. Try to get as much of everything you may need before you start and then you can just happily decorate. So with that being said, I'm going to go gather all the materials that we may need off camera and then I will be back and we'll start decorating. Well, I have just about everything I may need. I am going to throw some of this wood into the woodcutter to get some uh, planks and what are these rods going? The first thing I'm going to do is clear out all the villagers beds. And before we do anything else, I am going to move Flint and Petra's beds in here. Oh, that's not the door anymore. Uh, no. <sighs> Problem solved. And now we're gonna be working on Rex's room. And since he is a green dude, we're going to give him a green bed. And I want some sort of backboard. Yeah, something like this might actually work pretty well. Uh, mm, okay, let's try to roll with it. We're trying something new here. These tables are so cool. So we're gonna get two of these right next to the bed. Uh, why does this one let us do it closer and the other one doesn't? Hmm, weird. Let's try it again. Hmm, that is a bit off-putting. Okay, that may be better. I feel like we still... I was like, what am I listening to? It's that. <laughs> I feel like we still need some supports on the side of the, like, backboard here. These are all way too tall, so we're gonna go into the wall section and look at some of the pillars. Can y'all get out of here? Jeez. Um, okay. I feel like that's really not what I want. Okay, that's more fitting. And then, honestly, I think the yellow is not doing it for me, so let's try to see if we can find, like, a brown wall that's similar. I think, uh, oh, not that one. I think the only one I can find is this one. Okay, well, alternatively, we can just place these pillars. And we are gonna have to move his bed, I think. All right, that works. Nice little backboard. I'll take it. Now we need to get his bed back down. These villagers have to leave me alone. 
I know we wanted to go with colorful, but now that we've got this whole thing going, I feel like we need a nice classic bed. And there it is. We definitely need some decorations to go on top of these tables. Oh, for some reason I can't put these on, on top of here. Oh, okay, that one's, that one's on, it's on. And then I also really like putting books on these as well. Can y'all get out of here? What is happening, weirdos? A nice little chest. Yeah. Oh. You know, I feel like this chest fits in too well with the bed. So I do want something that'll stand out a little bit more. That's better. Ugh, go away. Why are you even over here? Go to the campfire, you weirdos. The next thing that I want to do is get... Look at this beautiful table. All right, we're going to get this beautiful table over here. These chairs. Oh my gosh. They're so lovely, but the wool fabric, it's killer. Oh, hello. Now for the coffee table, I want it to be a little bit more, uh, oh, those books are way too large. We can use these. I feel like coffee tables are usually a little more kind of organized. And so right now we kind of have like three distinct areas of the house. We have this as the bedroom, this as kind of the living room, and then this is kind of like the dining room. So what I want to do is actually pick out one of these displays and use that as kind of a barrier between two areas. All right, we're going to put this right here. And so that kind of creates a little barrier. And you know what? We're actually going to make... I need more planks, but we're going to make a second one to go next to it. Okay, let's get this other one in right next to this one. All right, so that helps kind of create a little separation from the bedroom to these areas. And then we're just going to put one more little seat right here just to kind of make this its own little area. And then I also think I'm going to add one more little chair right here just to create some extra separation between these two areas. I'm also going to add this little painting right here above the wall. And I'll add this little shelf over here in the bedroom. All right, and then lastly, I'm going to add this little shelf right here. We definitely need some lighting. And that's the final tour of Rex's little apartment. I think it turned out pretty good with what we had, that is. So let's... Look at my sad face. Hungry, cold. Oh, that is... That is actually hilarious. <laughs> but anyways, I'm actually gonna collect a little bit more wood and then we're gonna move on to decorating the interior of the castle. And in light of the comment of the day, here's me breaking down a palm tree with my blue sword. Even got a bush in there. And here's me breaking down a palm tree with my ax. So definitely a little bit faster with the sword. Now, as far as this tower goes, we definitely need some lighting. And I think these torches here are going to be perfect. Yeah, those look really great. Now we're going to need a staircase. And honestly, that's going to be the majority of this build. So I'm just going to line it up on the wall to the left hand side. And using the uh, arrow keys, I'm just going to push it until it won't let me anymore. And that should bring it exactly in the corner here. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side because I want it to touch this wall. And then with that, I'm going to go into the floors. I'm going to pick this little kind of half wall and put it right in the middle. And I'm basically just going to repeat that the entire way up. Has anyone else experienced this? I'm clicking it, like doing the snap. And now I'm left clicking to build and it won't build. But if I just it'll place. I'm going to try to relog and see if that will fix it. All right, well, it looks like, at least for now, that has solved the problem. Also, if you guys aren't utilizing this Recents tab, it's so helpful, and I seriously recommend using it. Now that we're at the top, I'm going to take these little floors here and just start building out. And this is the top of our tower. I don't even know that I want to put anything up here. I'm kind of actually inspired by Skyrim in this sense, and you'll understand what I mean in a moment. I'm going to put a little chair up here, maybe two little chairs. 
little table and then we will put a loot chest which of course we need planks for ah and we're actually just gonna put one of these chests up here because it looks the most like chesty like these ones are so bland they don't have any color variation but this one is perfect and then we'll try to get a little bit of clutter on the top of that little table and i think ooh, yeah something like this would be good as well this is where the guys go to patrol the area and we have the little storage chest here i really like it this is the inside not much going on here but we could get a floor down all right and then the last thing i want to do is just add a little bit of furniture down at the bottom of the tower as well we're going to add a little sofa one of these lights in the corner and maybe one in this corner as well and we'll add a big flower pot right here and a couple of barrels so that's the inside of this place i would love 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 to get um some of these oh, but we just don't we don't have the the materials needed and look at this i'm literally starving to death now this is going to be petra and flint's house and we're gonna start with decorating the interior Ooh, we do need to add a little bit of flooring here so let's do that first perfect i'm just gonna move their beds upstairs to get them out of my way the first thing i want to do is utilize some space on this wall and i'm gonna do so by placing this shelf here next to this shelf i'm gonna place two little tables now we're just adding some clutter that looks like it goes with what's on the shelf now i'm gonna make a couch and this one does look really nice. So I think this is the couch that we're gonna go with. And of course, what good is a couch without a coffee table? So we are gonna add this beautiful coffee table here. And we're just gonna add a nice little vase of flowers right on top of the coffee table. That looks uh, kind of large, but yeah, maybe we'll try a different flower pot. <laughs> that looks oddly like it does not fit there. All right, <laughs> I guess that will have to do. Over here in this corner, I wanna add some sort of shelf. And then to finish it off, we're just gonna add a couple of shelves. I do also wanna add something onto this wall cause it feels pretty bare. And if you can't get a shelf to place on a wall, you can always make your own shelf by using a floor. And from there, you should be able to add some little decorations on. And this is the final decorations of the living room and the little entryway here. So now we're actually gonna go ahead and decorate the rest of the house off camera because this episode's already getting pretty long. And I will show you what we've got once we're done. We are completely finished decorating the interior of Petra and Flint's house. And as you can see behind me, we did do some exterior work. And we just got a beautiful little campfire. I used these corner pillars. Where are they? I used these just on the edges of the campfire. Uh-oh, let's drink a snowberry shake. But yes, I used those on the edge of the campfire. We have a few little benches here. And then I kind of made a cooking station. We've got some pots, a grill, some stuff that kind of looks like maybe food ingredients, and then a butcher's knife on this table. I thought that was a good touch. And then we've got some wine barrels here. I eventually want to come back in and add in some more of these barrels kind of around this area just to make it look like, you know, there's some that was pulled off the rack. But we might add some more little stuff around here, like some flowers and stuff. But just in general, that's kind of the patio area that we have. And then inside, you guys have already seen the living room. I think it turned out really well. And then we just have this kind of little entryway to the upstairs area. And then we have the kitchen. And honestly, this kitchen turned out so well, in my opinion. I added these two little arches to kind of create a pantry back here. And then over here is the kitchen. So yeah, we've got like some cookbooks, some ingredients, the kitchen sink, even though it's a bathroom sink, but we're gonna pretend it's a kitchen sink. Um, and then we have some paper towels, which I love that we have utility items like that. Some more pots and this beautiful little dining table. And that is the outdoors completed. Also, I never checked what this door leads to. It leads to nothing. Moving upstairs to the right, we have a storage room and I kind of ran out of materials and also forgot that this existed. So we just have kind of some cluttered stuff around. I would like to add more boxes and stuff. So eventually we will do that. I'm pretty sure it was mostly planks that we needed 
for that. Yeah, and I just didn't have enough planks on me at the time. So we will come in and clutter this up a bit more. But lastly, we have the bedroom over here. And I actually think this turned out really well. I was able to make this beautiful little headboard using the half wall here. And then just the floor pieces, I used a kind of longer one and then the shorter one on top to create that little angled effect. And then just some floor pieces. We put their beds down. We gave them little side tables to put their stuff on. We have a wardrobe, which has significantly small amount of storage in it and some lighting and a few shelves and stuff but i think this house turned out really well i i'm really happy with it it genuinely feels like a nice lived in home but you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think do you think that the house turned out well is there any suggestions that you have and oh you know what i just realized i think i figured out how to solve this problem i built this door in line with the edge here. So we're actually going to tear down the roof. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a pillar on the edge here. And then we're gonna add our door. And now I'm really, really hoping that that's gonna solve our problem. So let's try to get these on here now. And now everything should fit, hopefully, yes perfectly to the wall and then we just finish up with the last roof piece and uh aside from it covering the window which we may just have to remove and replace with a regular wall it's now perfectly in line and that makes me feel a lot better and guys, that's going to do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope this is going to be able to inspire you to decorate your own houses and provide you with some helpful tips. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!